It's me, Red and Black Wolf. I actually said that wrong. <laughs> it's me, Red and the Black Wolf, and today I am playing more Fallout 3. <laughs> this episode is called The Road to Arafu, and that is because the last time I left off and I was traveling to Arafu, and I will be continuing that journey. Um, small thing, uh... So, on this journey to Arafu, last episode, apparently, my game didn't save before I exited, so I am basically at the last, not really settlement, but the last load screen I exited from, which was this house here. <laughs> so, um, I have to work my way back to Arafu again. Oh well. Kinda sucks, but I'll get through it. <laughs> yeah, so. Tarafu. Arafu? Arafu? I don't know. It's Arafu. <laughs> Alright. Moving right along. Lots of trees. Mostly dead trees, though. Not exactly great. in front of me. Oh, they're above me? I think maybe. There is this dog right here, though. Alright. Fight. I want to do it. But I know you're going to attack. That's why you're marked in red, right? Red means bad. I should probably, like, I don't know, watch for traps? Good idea. <laughs> Not dying is always a grand idea. Oh, Mr. Bull Rat! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bull Rat. <laughs> Sense disturbance in the force. If you'll find it. Aha! It was Mole Rat! Shall die. Ew. I'm sorry about, you know, your entire face thing just imploding on itself. <laughs> ah, that's not a good day there. Absolutely just obliterated his face. And now I have an Austin Towers joke stuck in my head. Can I say that? I'm not sure. I spy with my little eyes something gray. Oh, right. All the trees in the game. Go looking for a fight, or I can try and avoid the fight. 
Ah, I'm gonna go looking for a fight. Must be I hit. And then proceeds to miss every other shot. Report. There we go. Don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Base on the pictures mound. Usually, I don't think I don't I don't think there is. Pretty sure there's not. Oh well. All's well that ends well. Mr. Well is at the fire, and that kind of sucks. Mr. Mole Rat. Can you hear the crickets? They're for me. Hey look, it's a rock! Oh wait, it's another rock! More rocks! Not only Dwayne were here. Oh! That's one rock to rule them all, right? Oh, hey, look, it's a caravan! Can I sell you stuff? Welcome, sir or madam. I don't care what you have to say, it's usually useless. I am Crazy here to wolf buy. He's got just what you so. need. Assuming you need the random junk. That I've got. That's such a great sell. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. I will sell all the useless garbage. And you shall take all of it. All of it! And then I shall have no useless garbage. I'm not really one for crafting in this game. I'm just gonna get rid of all that crap. Uh, is there anything I want? It's got plenty of stim packs. All right. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Good luck out there, and maybe the next time you'll find something interesting for me, huh? Good to see you. I hate him. He's annoying. Hey, I spelled the title right. Congratulations, Cody. You're not a complete idiot. Yeah. You have discovered- now I've discovered one- one location, not several, just one! Ah. I see he follows Chuck Grass' philosophy. I nearly blasted you in two! Get over here before they spot you! Now can you say that more menacingly? Like, GET OVER HERE! And then like, throw some hook knife at me, and then now, oh, now I'm dead. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Well, I have this letter for the West family. Who did you think I was? I'm just passing through. This is not really a place where you can pass through, okay. I don't know if you saw this bridge, but uh, it's not connected. <laughs> Next time you shoot at me like that, you better not miss. I like that one. <laughs> That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Are they raiders or slavers? What kind of trouble? Oh, come on, it's just gang nonsense. Okay, well, trouble. at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. 
but they always kept their distance. Typical but gang this last bullshit. What got you spooked? Uh, look, like you can call me crazy if you want, but there call is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. <laughs> Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're... I'd be glad to help. Can you do? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, I've noticed. You tried to shoot me on the way in, Jagass. Door to the West residence. So is there an East residence here? No? No? Oh, wow. These people are very, um... How do I put this? Dead. They're absolutely fucking dead. Deader than a doorknob. Okay! Well, the bodies of the West have bite marks on the neck area that go to the bone. I guess you could say that chills to the bone. Kill me. Alright, um. I will take that no. I'm really big on looting corpses. <laughs> yep, so they're dead. That that letter is definitely not getting delivered. They're they're all dead. Uh, well. I mean, I came up to this door for a reason. I could just do nothing, but I'm gonna knock on it. Yes. Who is it? Your mom. Evan King sent me. Can I come in? I'm from the family. Let me in. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, he did? Come on in. I'll unlock. <laughs> it's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. This is unfriendly. The name's Karen Shenzi. I don't care about your name. So what's your take on Evan King? Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Did you know the West are dead? <laughs> Can you tell me what's been going around here? What do you think about the family? Uh... Scared out of my mind. I have to go now. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Alright. I shall knock on the door. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. I'm actually from Amazon, ma'am. What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Sure, yeah. I have your file catalog. <laughs> oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. You just let everybody in like that? <laughs> what the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Your mom. That's my answer to everything. Your wife let me in. Something about I file catalog. <laughs> Why are you being so hostile? Maybe it's because my wife has gone mental. No, wait. Oh, I'm pretty I sure think that's it's because that some lunatics are trying to kill us. <laughs> Other than that, no reason. Did you know the Western dead? Uh, is everything We're great. Okay. okay, you're great. Gotcha. Good. Okay, moving right along. Also, that radio is annoying. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? No, everybody's dead. There's not a single survivor. I hate to tell you. You're an orphan. Oh wait, no, you're, you're just no one's man. Anyway. Did you know the West are dead? Wait a minute. No, I only found the parents. 
Boom. This has to be the way. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you Let's already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Does he? Do it really? Do you know that? I'm so I can't take. Don't Thanks, worry, kid. Evan. I'll figure out what happened. Bite marks on their necks. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Or attack mole rats. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Should I, uh... Next. Yep, okay. Time to move on. So, wait, I gotta find this, uh, Dean West kid, right? Locate the family. Oh, I guess I didn't get that dialogue off here yet. How's the search going? Great if you can tell me where the hell I'm going on this search. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark. So I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding. Like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Alright. Next time I see the fa- So, I guess... He said they're always to the northwest, so that's that way. Easily trek here from the northwest. I guess you could go from there, but. You mentioned station. That's town. There'd be a station in a town. I'd imagine. <laughs> this is a battlefield. I could just destroy the entire environment to get where I need to go. Oh, that's even. Fallout man, become aquatic life form. of this little hill here. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Oh, hello random bundle of tires. Around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, I get. This fits. <laughs> I love walking on rubble. I'm walking on rubble. Wow. Fancy. How beautiful this town is. Although, 
There are always med supplies in restrooms and Fallout games. I will always waste the majority of my ammo on one thing. <laughs> and one thing only. Very quiet. We're hunting rabbit. Yes! Intense hipster stare! That's how he died. Are they hiding here? No. Ah, do 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 searching, searching for the bad guys. Or maybe not so bad guys, maybe kind of good guys, but still bad guys, bad guys. This person is dead. Very, very dead. There is a door here. And behind ah You're not I wasn't ready for you. Try and steal my secrets, are you? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to steal all your secrets, man. If you had anything worth keeping secret, you wouldn't be living in a metro tunnel, dude. The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Uh, Ultra Jet, some sort of chem. Stop trying to tug your way out of this zombie. That doesn't sound like something I would say. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? Um... I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet, the only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. I can help him? I love helping people. That's my dream. What does he need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill those, it down to its like, base contents explosives and add that sugar. to the formula. How does that work? Explain. Presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So you in? I'll just try, let's try to dick him over on the fries a little bit. I mean, I gotta make my money's worth. Fine, anything uh -huh. you need. Now scram. I got some preparing to do. Scram. Aw. Just like my parents. Oh, the nostalgia. Scram, kid. <laughs> Alright. Time to go. Where am I going? I don't know. Mushrooms. <laughs> what are you? Oh, Mr. Meyerler, right? Oh, God, it's been a while. I like Meyerler's better in um, Fallout New Vegas. Oh, those are grenades. Okay, time to run. Ow, you can have all of those. Take the lines, though. Those could be useful later. So, am I safe yet? Possibly? Oh, yeah, I'm safe. I'm good. Just hide myself in this little corner. Stim pack. Okay. Let's uh, gather some mines. I should look where I'm going. That'd be a good idea.
Ah, things that go kaboom. Hey look, I leveled up. 39. 40. Whatever. Perks or treats or... I don't care. Ah, uh, small gun. the trail. Tripwire. Disarm. What's this? What's that? There's tripwires all around. Oh, something tells me I'm gonna make a mistake here. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. What's the big idea? Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? I must answer, of course. Of course, I was elected. Sweet America. Of course. This is the right, most, the very foundation of a democracy. Fortunately for you, the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. Okay. But uh, speech 26. I... I don't I care what that. you need. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> Just exploring, sorry. There we go. You Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. What's the headband? It's like a scrub man. I love that stuff. Mm, I love me some propaganda. How's he going this way? To the right. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group you of weary shaky. travelers and outcasts who need me. a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? And so the emo kid sighed and said his response. Sorry. This is very different from any other settlement I've seen. I think I've stumbled in the English. It's the words, just, they left me, and I couldn't speak anymore. I think I've stumbled on the world of war. <laughs> First scene. Alright, um, any different from any other settlements I've seen. 
What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland. Ah, you're a cult! And teach them my ways. Men of Great. science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Uh... I'm afraid... Damn it. Humans call... You're open. Allow me to... What would that make? <laughs> then that is... It. Perhaps from these laws you can... Wait, no. We need to talk about Ian West. Five laws of the family. Oh god, this sounds very <laughs> Alright, I gotta read these laws. First law The first law Feast Not on the flesh. Consume only the blood. Okay, that's disturbing. This is our strength! We do not eat flesh of those we kill for food. We will only drink their blood and leave the body intact. Consumption of flesh is filthy and unclean. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, drinking their blood is so much better. You probably all have some weird freaking blood disease. <laughs> or AIDS. <laughs> anyway. The consumption... <laughs> I already read that. This action is what causes humans to treat us like animals. No, I think it's the sucking of human blood. Uh, <laughs> we are not animals. We are the family. Oh, that's so much better. The second law. Bear not the child. Welcome only to the exile. This is our fate, because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies. We can never let it pass to our offsprings, who would turn and carry out those foul actions, beginning the cycle anew. The family must seek the wasteland for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is our so they, do they wander through the wasteland yellow? New blood! <laughs> the third law. Feed not for pleasure. Partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. We only kill humans when we are hungry. Or we must defend ourselves. We never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children, for they are not yet tainted by society's view. Family will not tolerate murder. But yet, you talk about murdering people, but you don't tolerate murder. I don't. Okay. This is very, uh, interesting way of thinking. The fourth law. Seek not the sun's light. Okay, that is taken straight from fiction. Okay, embrace the shadows. This is our refuge, so you're ninjas. Because we are creatures of the night. We must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows, ninjas. And never again gaze at its brilliance. Well, if you hate the sun, why are you calling it really good? Okay, moving on. The family seeks the dark as its refuge. From the 
brilliance of the sun. You should add that at the end, you know, that way you somehow show your love for the sun, yet your hate for it at the same time. Just keep fighting yourself. Okay, the fifth law! Kill not our kindred, slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of our current leader. So you're saying if the leader says, go kill this person without any reason, you can kill them. It's okay. All right. Anyone disobeying this action will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our own inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number only in the few, but we cannot risk extinction. I think extinction would be better for all of us, of your species. Or a particular breed of humans. All right, let's go talk to Vance. After doing what's best tearing apart his philosophy. You wish to speak to me again? Uh, I think I finally understand what you people are. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? You're a cult. You're most definitely a cult. A very, very weird and contradictory cult. You're vampires, at least you follow their traditional or fictional traditions, okay. I'm not good at English. So seriously messed up phrase, I actually have to agree with that. If I said you're vampires and you said I was right, we'd both be crazy. True enough. I still say you're cannibals. Do you Whatever. think I believe I can turn into a bat? Now Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the oh, ways of the vampire. The I've provided them the shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings. I gotta go with the, uh, yeah, you're brainwashing yes. them, dude. In a way, I am brainwashing them. I am eliminating their fears, their inhibitions, and their shame. I have reigned in their cravings, and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Oh, because that's so much better. They have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. I've been searching for a young man by the name of Ian West. Did you drink his blood? <laughs> ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Um, hmm. I have a letter from Then a the part sister. of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his I life right society. now. <laughs> After all that occurred in Erythul, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Damn it, Vance, what did you do to him? Uh, I'll go with, wait a minute, what happened? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his Dude, parents. seriously, you need to because do something about those brows. Night, he stopped just short God. of being lost it's, forever to his cravings for like, flesh. I don't even know. Are you telling me Ian is a cannibal? <laughs> the hunger the that drives response, us honestly. must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Ian lost he had a moment of weakness. He's a weird cannibal kid. Speech, twenty-five percent. No, oh. it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry. Hello, there, stranger. You wish to I still speak need to, to me. talk to Ian. There I had go. always assumed. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to Ian. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy. 
himself. And his, um, you are free to roam the common well. area of our home as like, our guest. I mean, that kid murdered yes. his family. He's gonna need a serious psychologist. Um, is there anything over here? No. I'm pretty sure I didn't see anything over there. Or, so I guess I have to go this way. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not this room. Anything over here? Nope. Can I open this? Ah, Vance's key. What do you want? I've been looking for you. You're a bitch to find. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. Yeah, they've got their pitchforks He's too. worse than my parents. I'm sorry, Ian. Your parents are dead. He already knows that. Thank <laughs> you, shit. We're getting out. This insane asylum. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I know you're. I made a sure of that, murderer. didn't I? Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Absolutely, some kind of monster. Um. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant. I know. A fucking freak. <laughs> The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Dude, you should start a band. You'd make millions and tour the nation. You know, for a second there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Au revoir, creepy vampire wannabe dude. Oh, I shouldn't jump so much. I'd yes, give my character a what is it? How is our newest member? I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he Fix come those brows and I'll tell you, man. Alright, before I talk to you, talk about Ian, there's the matter of our food to as discuss. As long as you maintain yeah, this level of civility, kind of please proceed. Let's go with medicine. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? The amount of blood drives in this country, I really doubt that they'd be scarce. Um, for Denise, blood packs, you lead. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. Now. He has decided to leave the family. There it saddens me. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather... He does realize he's a human too. Just Never a seen very weird, before. fucked up human. Hey so, there, how's it going? curiosity. Better Honest. How? Okay. So Fallout 3 is based, what, something like 200 years after a nuclear pol apocalypse. Apocalypse? That would be weird. That would have been weird. <laughs> if I messed up, apocalypse, oh my god. There is no hope for me. But anyway, 
200 or so years after a nuclear apocalypse. Um, and apparently most things are still irradiated. Wouldn't any blood found in hospital ruins... Keeps me up at night. Apocalypse. <laughs> That's gonna keep me up at night, too. Uh, <laughs> moving on. I go to Arafu and I talk to those people and I do that stuff. Oh, this is wicked fun. Just going to Arafu. Gonna talk to some people. I've got some weird people in a train station. Thing. It is technically. It's more of a train tunnel, but. The effort was there. Left side, clear. Right side, clear. <laughs> Alright, do I have this? Can I discover this location so I don't ever have to come here again? Hey, I, I think I did discover this location. Boom, I'm good. And I can fast travel to Arafu, and no more walking! Oh god, I hate walking. It's so much effort. Let's fast travel here. I talk to Evan West. There he is! The is hero song. of the day! Batman? Where? It's done, Evan. The family will never bother you again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. Thanks. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I... let Vance... Okay. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Now I can go talk to Vance. So close to level four. <laughs> oh, one can only hope. <laughs> All right. We're off to see the creepy dude, the wonderful creepy dude here. He lives here. Remember, kids. If you ever meet a strange man in a train tunnel, just run. Frickin' run. You don't want to hear a single word out of his mouth. Just run. Let's all gather around the bonfire and... Yeah. Please stop it with your weird vampire cult nonsense. Ugh, I'm sick from it already. Alright. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Why is that guy hunched over like that? That was weird. That was disturbing. <laughs> Mr. Vance. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Excellent. Your efforts surpass those of the average. If you ever wish to look. Okay. Time for me to go. And never come back. Ever. 
wish you could fast travel underground. That would make this game so much easier. But no, I have to go through two loading screens just to get to another additional loading screen. This quest is done, right? Like, finished. Oh, yep. Um, I could rig my atomic bomb to explode now if I wanted to. Or I could disarm it. caps I'll get for disarming it. I should be able to pass that speech check now. Maybe. If I can get more, or at least even caps. Like, because I really don't want to blow up an entire town. I mean, I get it. They're assholes who didn't give me the information I wanted, but they're still people. shall stand before me. I'm the Lord of Cones. <laughs> Alright. Um, to Arafu. I shall return. Da -da 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 -da. I should go explore those two areas, but I won't do that right now. Do it later. No job is too nasty for the mercenaries of Talon Company. I was not finished reading that. How dare you. Traitor. Okay. Now to go talk to... Wait, what am I doing here? Why did I come back here? I didn't need to come back here. Alright, let's try this again. I do need to go to Megaton. Because I can use some supplies and I need to do that quest. Talk to Mr. Lucas Sims. Got my What about bomb. it? Alright, um... And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Not an option, I'm All afraid. Right. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Hmm. All right, what's on your mind? Sorry, Megaton. Mind your manners now. <laughs> Megaton is done. I tried. I tried to do the right thing, but it's not even profitable. So with that, because I do the land, terrible, terrible thing. The words of the of Adam. Um, first, I kind of don't want to hire Jericho. I, I, think, I think he's for hire, so let's go see. Mr. Jericho? Yeah, you want something? You don't 
There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. Did you really? What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. <sighs> I'm not that guy anymore. You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? Either. But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take? No offense, kid. But you. Now I've heard about you. Now. Alright. So, I'm too good. <laughs> um, I gotta do some more evil stuff. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, and no sorrows, no suffering. Or in the division, get rid of annoying characters I don't like at the same from time. The pain and hardships of this world. Far too many. Yeah. Shit here. This guy. I just gotta make sure Jericho doesn't die. Oh, oh. We got a raider. Oh. This did not go to plan! Ow. The more people I kill here, the more I can loot later. This is terrible. This is so terrible. I'm a dirtbag. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. No. Run! Oh. Run like a bitch! Oh my god. What am I doing? This is wrong. Oh. Alright. Well. <laughs> this character is a. Uh, Oh my god. I turned what was essentially a kinda decent character into a sociopath. Actually, I'm, I'm not even sure he'd be a sociopath, I'm pretty sure he'd be a psychopath. At this point. I'm not sure. Sociopath, they don't know right from wrong. A psychopath knows right from wrong, but does the wrong thing anyway. Alright, so while Megaton is blowing over and all that shit, I guess I will do the Springvale thing, but before I do that, before I do that, because I did the thing that I set up to do in this episode, and it's just about an hour now. I don't want to keep. I don't want these videos to be too long. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this here. So uh, have a good night, everybody. Um, if you like this content, please follow me on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And uh, have yourself a great night. Also. If you want to get involved in uh, activities that my group is doing on Xbox One, we're the Wolf Den, you should uh, ask for an invite and one of our admin or me will add you. I am not currently creating any new admins though. I, I have all the admins I need and or want to be admins for now, so there's that. But yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. This is Red and Black Wolf signing out.